Hello and welcome back Squirrel Nation. For those of you new audience members, please smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Anyways, today's video is covering Richter, who is an outstanding hero. The information presented is all gathered from 29 games that have currently taken place from the AIC tournament. The Richter's pick ban rate is 100%, making him an absolute monster of a hero. Um, when he has been played, he has a 60% win rate. A few notes about Richter that I think are really important are he has only been played in the DS lane in pro play, and he finds his most success in dive compositions. He is in almost all of his wins, so five out of his six wins, he was paired with an assassin jungler in either Zephys or Cricknack. Going into his build in Arcana real quick, his build is shown here. The boots note uh, players did change depending who they were laning against. They would go for Gilded Greaves if they were playing against heroes with heavy CC or magic-based damage. Otherwise, they went with the build here. Um... Other builds were used on Richter, but they had those actually builds tend to link up with his losses. And so I just went with showing this, which was by far the most common build, and it also was associated with the most wins. Anyways, um, Arcana, I can't see what the pros were using, but this is from my personal experience what I would recommend to everybody 10 Onslaught, 10 Assassinate, and 10 Skewer. I think the, um, pier the Pierce will help Richter really hit, and then the movement speed is really amazing on him because it scales so nicely with his passive. Anyways, having said that, um, let's move on to the second part of the video, which I am going to cover Richter's skills and abilities and the nuances that lie within. Okay, so here we are in Hero Trials. What I want to show everybody is simply one of the nuances about uh, Richter's passive, and that is that the attack speed actually changes as you gain level. So if you notice right now, we're level 1, and the uh, attack speed is 15% in brush. Uh, riverbed, the movement speed is 15%, and on the road, uh, my damage mitigation is 10%. But if you notice here, I will now upgrade Richter to max. He does gain uh, increased attack speed every level, but I just want to sh also show you guys what the max level attack speed is. So now if you notice, I upgraded him to level 15, and now attack speed is all the way to 57%. Um, so basically what happens is every level, uh, Richter's attack speed goes up by 3% additionally for his passive. Okay, here we are in Hero Trials. Um, today I'm just going to basically go over Richter's mechanics of his different abilities. So we're going to begin with his passive. Um, I want to point out two different things. The first one is that his passive actually changes as he gains level. So notice at the bottom of the screen, the passive when he's in the brush, riverbed, and road. Uh, brush, he gains 15% attack speed. Riverbed, he gains 15% movement speed. And the road he gains 10% additional damage reduction. Um, out of the three, the only one that changes is his um, passive bonus from brush, which is his attack speed. His attack speed will increase by three for every level that he gains. The other two, riverbed and road, stay static throughout the game. So to demonstrate that, I will now upgrade Richter to level 15. Um, we know that he gets three uh, plus three attack speed for every level. So if you notice that 15 at the bottom of the screen now turned to 57% attack speed. Okay, the second thing I want to show everybody about Richter's passive is the change in movement speed when he changes from one terrain bonus to the next. So if you notice right now, I will show you guys, notice movement speed is currently plus 57. So if I go into a bush and jungle, and I stand here, wait, 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 then in the jungle I, I get no bonus movement speed. You notice that green plus went away, and now we're just at 380, okay? But so what happens is if you, and I have to time this right, so if I step out, 
you notice it's still at that. But now all of a sudden I got a big burst and it went to 57 for the riverbed bonus, right? But the thing that is very interesting is the river bonus actually stacks with the change in terrain bonus. So if I time this out right, it's right when it changes, bam, 152 now that I'm standing in the bush, right? But that 152 only lasts for a short duration when I change from river to the brush. And notice now, I'm going to notice now if I, I'm still standing in the brush, but now it's back to the 380, right? So that big bonus to movement speed only comes when Richter changes from one terrain bonus to the next. Okay, so actually the fastest Richter will ever be is when he's changing from either the the ground or the jungle into the riverbed. Okay, so now we know that we're in a brush right now. So I'm going to show you when I step out of the brush and change to river how big it gets. So and as soon as it changes, I hit it 209, right? When the riverbed movement speed bonus is actually only plus 57. So... The, the big thing that I want to note is this change does not occur when you st step into the new terrain. It occurs as soon as you switch into that passive bonus. So when essentially when your S1 changes color, that's when the big speed boost comes, not just when you step. So see, I'm on the river, but I didn't let it change, so I didn't get the movement benefit, right? But if you notice, as soon as it changes, I get massive speed boost, and then I kind of slow down again. Okay, so in this clip, we are going to talk about Richter's S1. If you notice right now, it is orange. Um, you can look at the description. But basically what happens is with his passive, Richter's S1 also changes. So orange is just kind of the normal. There's no added benefit, but there is two different add-ons. One is when you are standing on the river, and if you notice, the S1 just turned blue. And now if we look at it, what happens is your dash range is longer, and also you uh, slow enemies. So real quick to demonstrate the dash range, if you notice right here, Richter is touching, so he's touching the wall, and now it changed to green, and you notice how my dash range became shorter. The difference also is that green will knock up the enemy and do a 10% of the max uh, HP of the target. So green does the most damage, Blue is, has a nice debuff for if they try to run away. So the way that you want to combo that with Richter is you want to wait for the enemies in the bush, come out, knock them up, right? And then wait for it to go blue and hit them again. One other thing about the S1 that I want to cover is the optimum damage combo. If you notice, uh, look for the icon that's going to pop up, which is the passive when I use my S1. So I use my S1, you notice that sword, and I think there's a error in the code right now. If you notice, it doesn't give a good description. But what that is, is basically the passive, which is the bonus magic damage. So if you notice, once again, S1, I have it. Notice Richter, the first attack is that thrust. Second attack is not a thrust anymore, right? So even though that passive still stays up, the added magic damage from the S1 only is that first attack. So anyways, once again, we hit it with the S1. You notice that passive, a thrust, then I hit an S1 again, and then I thrust again. So remember, you're going to want to do S1, auto attack, S1. So S1, S1, auto attack, S1, auto attack. That is going to be uh, the best way to get burst with Richter's S1. So here I want to talk about Richter's S2, which makes him invulnerable for 0.75 seconds. Um, some... Things to note that are important is for 0.75 seconds of invulnerability, Richter doesn't take damage, but he still is targeted. Um, one thing that matters for is tower diving. The tower shots are spaced more than 0.75 seconds apart, so Richter can only avoid damage from one shot, which I will show you now. So if he runs in, gets shot, invul, I don't take damage. However, say I come in, I time it out, I go invuln for one. If you notice, I can't uh, dodge the second one. So no matter what, with Richter's S2, you can only dodge one tower shot. So just know that if you are planning to dive tower. Some other just things for people to keep in mind is that Richter is going to be 
extremely amazing for people who have really good timing on their S2s. The reason I say that is because a lot of heroes, marksmen, mages, everybody targets lowest amount health. So when Richter is low on health, people are going to target him in team fights with their abilities. Now, why that matters is because if you have good timing on your S2, um, it is going to, you're essentially going to soak a lot of damage and a lot of cooldowns because people do want to kill Richter also because he does so much damage. So they will target stuff at you, and if you are able to dodge it, you are going to be effectively soaking quite a bit of the enemy's team's damage. Okay, the last thing that I want to talk about is Richter's ultimate. Um, the way that it works is it does tick damage, and the tick occurs every half a second. After an enemy takes five ticks of damage, then they will take a large, large amount of burst true damage. Um, it does work on minions and monsters. If you can see with blue buff, you'll see it flash every tick. Tick, tick, tick. Right? And then notice the health jump down on the blue buff, right? And the reason is, is because of that large true damage. If you notice on a hero, they actually get this icon, which makes it a lot easier to tell. And then you saw the icon break, which meant he took the true damage. And then I also can't restack the icon on him from the same ultimate. So if you notice this ultimate, it breaks, even though, see, I'm still on him with ultimate. It, it, you can't you can't trigger it twice on the enemy for one alt. So keep that in mind. Um, and then the other really important thing is that it does work on minions and monsters, but it doesn't show the icon. So the icon for Richter's ultimate only shows up on heroes. And that's the main thing that I want to point out to everybody. Okay, that does it for today's video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. Also, it really helps me if you will share this video around so that other people can join the Squirrel Nation and just join our great community we have going on. But anyways, as always, I'll see you all tomorrow and happy ranking.